This is the greatest sales video ever created. Tribute. Stay tuned. Okay, so whether you offer a physical product, coaching, your services, or digital training, you have to sell, even if you hate it. This is why I get my videos to do the selling for me. But what exactly do you say or do in a sales video, and how long is it supposed to even be? Well, today I'm simply gonna introduce you to what I think is one of the greatest sales videos ever created. Introducing the Squatty Potty. Now, the Squatty Potty is nothing more than a plastic footstool. But through the power of effective marketing, the right sales sequence, and a dash of unicorn poop, the Squatty Potty has been transformed into a must-have lifesaver for any bathroom. Now, you can view the entire Squatty Potty sales video right over here. But what I'm gonna do now is break it all down for you, step by step, so you can see for yourself the simple formula that was used in this video, so you can learn how to successfully sell anything of your own. Now, I must warn you, this will get a little messy with some bathroom talk and inappropriate language. So, unless your sense of humor hasn't matured past the age of seven, you might not like what follows. But who are we kidding? Everyone loves a good poop joke. Step number one, get attention. Now, there are several ways to get attention at the start of your video. Squatty Potty simply used a little humor and maybe a dash of shock and awe. This is where your ice cream comes from. Oh. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. Totally clean. So this first step is absolutely crucial. If you don't hook your audience and grab their attention, chances are they'll click away for good. Now, you don't have to use humor or poop references to get their attention. A simple question, an interesting statistic, or a big promise is actually all you need. Heck, in this video, I simply started out by saying, this is the greatest sales video ever created. Tribute. Stay tuned. And oh hey, you're still here. Shall we continue? Step number two, identify the problem. Now, everything you sell must solve a problem. And the bigger the problem, the bigger the demand to solve it, i.e. buy your stuff. That's because when you sit on a porcelain throne, this muscle gets a kink in the hose and stops the Ben and Jerry's from sliding out smoothly. Is that a problem? Now, in this clip, Squatty Potty simply identifies a problem which is that there is this weird muscle thing that causes a kink in your hose. But they didn't stop there. And that's what really takes us to step number three, agitate the problem. So it's not enough to simply identify what problem you'll be solving, you must agitate it. You twist the knife and go deeper. What happens if this problem goes unchecked? What's the worst case scenario? I don't know, a hemorrhoid's a problem? Because sitting at this angle can cause hemorrhoids, bloating, constipation, and a buttload of other crap. So in Squatty Potty's case, they're talking hemorrhoids and constipation. Now that's what I call agitating the problem. Step number four, identify the solution. Okay, so just when that pain becomes unbearable, it's time to introduce the solution. Now the solution isn't you or your product. Notice here with Squatty Potty, the solution is changing the way you sit on the toilet in order to relax that pesky muscle. It's not actually their product. Now this is important because if you want your audience to buy from you, they must first agree with the solution. Then of course, this solution creates in itself an inherent problem. As for Squatty Potty's case, how do I actually sit like that on the toilet? And that takes us to step number five. Introduce the product. Introducing the Squatty Potty. No, Squatty Potty is not a joke. So the answer is actually Squatty Potty. Notice what is at work here. This follows the simple problem, solution, problem, solution sequence. Problem number one, a kinked muscle puts you at risk for hemorrhoids. Solution, sit differently. Problem number two, how do I do that comfortably? Solution number two, the Squatty Potty. And then, immediately after you introduce your product, it's time for that big, fat promise. In this example, Squatty Potty's big, fat promise is, it will give you the best poop of your life, guaranteed. 
You can only imagine what one of their customers' email refund requests looks like. Step number six, results and benefits. Okay, okay, now it's time to talk about all those wonderful things about your product, like what it can do and how it can actually benefit your end user. What will your product do for your customer? The Squatty Potty makes you go twice as fast for your money back. And how can you demonstrate any other unique features or selling points? Done, it tucks neatly out of sight thanks to its innovative patented design. But most importantly, if you really want to put your selling on hyperdrive, make sure you are clearly stating and sharing those benefits. And the best way to do that is to ask, so what, after every feature that you share. Step number seven, your call to action. All right, when you've created enough desire for your product that your viewer is literally rummaging through their purse or racing for their wallet to get that credit card out, it's time to tell them what to do next. And that is your call to action, AKA, bye. So if you're a human being who poops from your butt, click here to order your Squatty Potty today at squattypotty.com. Now, notice this simple if-then statement. If you're struggling with this problem and you want to solve it, then click here to purchase. You must be able to tell people what to do next. That is your call to action. Step number eight, social proof. Now let's take a moment and step inside the shoes of your viewer for a moment. They've just seen an offer for your great product. If they haven't bought yet, it's usually for one big reason at this point. They just don't believe it's gonna work for them. This is where social proof comes in. And this includes anything from endorsements. And if you don't trust a prince, how about your doctor? Shark Tank, Huff Post, NBR, Men's Health, Howard Stern. To testimonials, case studies, and reviews. They're all crazy about the Squatty Potty. Not to mention the 2,000 Amazon users who gave the Squatty Potty five stars. And if that still doesn't work, well, maybe some people actually like having hemorrhoids. Well, there you have it. A simple breakdown of an incredibly well done sales video into eight simple steps that you can use and follow yourself. Now, even though this video was chock full of fun, humor, and some poop jokes, I must point out that's not what makes it sell. It's the sequence, the formula. And now you have it. So go forth and create your next sales video, knowing full well that it won't be crappy. See what I did there? Looking to create the perfect sales video that actually sells your stuff for you? Well, I've put these eight sales video steps together into one simple cheat sheet that you can use when writing and crafting your next perfect sales video. So to get your hands on this beautiful PDF right now, simply click the link in the description box below.